U.S. Supreme Court today says states now have the right to charge state sales tax for online purchases. Previously, out-of-state businesses had to have a physical presence in a state to charge sales tax online. But today, the Supreme Court ruled each state can now make that decision for themselves. States can pass laws requiring sellers without a physical presence to collect the online sales tax from customers and send it to the state, meaning more overall revenue. More than a dozen states have already adopted laws like this ahead of today's Supreme Court decision. Local lawmakers say this is a win-win for Arkansas as well. That will help ensure if grandma buys her goods at the local Sears and grandson buys his goods on the internet, both of them will be paying the same tax, the tax that's been passed by the Arkansas legislature, uh, and this will help just ensure fairness. We reached out to Walmart, who declined to go on camera, but released this statement saying, in part, we applaud the Supreme Court for closing a loophole that has existed for over two decades and produced an uneven playing field for Main Street businesses. Now you can read that full statement on our website. That's fox24news.tv.